of that car up against the wall. Ribeiro's in there, Johansson is in there. It's the other car that we really want to know about. Wait a about. minute, who's Way that? Way up the line. And we have a very serious accident. Very serious accident. And the course is blocked. I don't know oh. how they're going to get cars. Whoa, now. watch this, watch this. This car's really got to slow careful. down. He didn't realize it was that block. They have got to stop this. And that's They've Jeff Krosnoff over close to the wall, the one they're working over. As Steve Alvey heads down, one of the doctors with the IndyCar safety team, and Eddie Lawson tries to work his way through. So now, the closing laps, we have a serious accident here. 91 laps are complete. It breaks off the battle at the front of the field. We'll be back. Well, with this rather serious accident over at turn three, they have just displayed on the front stretch the red and checkered flag. Here is the replay. Eddie Lawson oh. into Krosnoff. No, that is actually Stefan Johansson Art there. Johansson. And he was moving out to pass another car, which looked like it was Gilles DeFerrin. I don't think he saw Krosnoff. He couldn't have seen him. And he moved over. Boy, he got up into that fence. That's his rear end of his car that ended up in front of Ribeiro. They work with Jeff Krosnoff, uh, still in what's left of the car, and I have not seen that much damage to an Indy car in a very long time. And what this does is gives the race to Fernandez. Zanardi in second place. It has been flagged two laps early at the 93rd lap. So Adrian Fernandez wins his first race in IndyCar on his first lead since Vancouver in 94. And so Adrian Fernandez, under a bit of a cloud, takes the win here and they have stopped the cars well down the course while they make an attempt to uh, service as best they can uh, the situation involving Jeff Krosnoff. Let's go to Gary Gerald. Well, mixed emotions in this time of urgency for our driver on course, but here's Steve Horn on the jubilation side. You've brought another young man to his first IndyCar win. What are you feeling right now? Well, I'm pleased for Adrian. I think uh, you know, a lot of people said he couldn't win. He wasn't competitive. I think we've proven that this year, that uh, this is another young star on the rise. Uh, as you say, I hope uh, there's no major problems out there. But it was a great, tough race all the way, and uh, you know, a credit to the team, and particularly Firestone. We had some tremendous tyres today. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you very much. Paul? So Steve Horn worried, as we all are, about the condition of Jeff Krosnoff. And Adrian Fernandez climbs out and uh, begins a celebration somewhat tainted because of this accident and the early stoppage of the race, breaking off what could have been a terrific battle to the finish. Alex Zanardi unofficially in second, Bobby Rahal third, Greg Moore fourth, Paul Tracy in fifth, followed by Brian Herta, Christian Fittipaldi, Jimmy Vassar, Robbie Gordon, and Scott Pruitt. We'll be back. Well, we'll take a look now at the unofficial results of this race, which was terminated early as a result of that accident in a red flag. The win goes to Adrian Fernandez. It is his first win in the Indy cars, and it's the third time this season that we've seen a brand new winner in the series, followed by Zanardi, Ray Hall, Moore, Tracy, and Brian Herta. Christian Fittipaldi, Jimmy Vassar came in in eighth, Robbie Gordon, Pruitt, Mark Blundell, Mauricio Guzelman in twelfth. So that's the official order of the top of the field. And in that uh, ever-important battle in the points fight, Jimmy Vassar is still out in front. Al Unser Jr., Jill DeFerrin, Michael Andretti, they did not perform as they had hoped. And so as a result, they've pretty much stayed the same. But Greg Moore and Alex Zanardi, they have very definitely moved into an excellent position in the points. Unfortunately, I'm afraid we do have some terrible news for you. Uh, a few moments ago, an announcement was made by the Molson Indy Medical Director, Dr. Hugh Scully. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm afraid I have uh, bad news about uh, one of the drivers and about one of the workers. IndyCar driver uh, Jeff Krosnoff uh, and a track marshal were killed in an accident uh, late this afternoon down near turn three. I can tell you that uh, effectively both of them were um, killed instantly. There was no suffering on the part of either of them. 
So first, as a television commentator, it is sad to hear of any death, especially a volunteer course marshal, Gary Irvin, Calgary, Canada, and of a race driver, especially when he was just a rookie in this series and was so excited about his potential. Now, as a friend, Jeff Krosnoff, age 31, a graduate of UCLA, born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, always had a bright smile for everyone. He had a wonderful sense of humor. And while I'm sure no one ever really considers their own passing, and no one really wants to die, Jeff Krosnoff was in a fight wheel to wheel in an Indy car. If he could have chosen it, I'm absolutely convinced that would have been the way he would have chosen. Nevertheless, he leaves behind a wife, Tracy. His parents were here at the track. It is a terribly sad day for IndyCar of the passing of these two wonderful people. And Jeff Krosnoff, I will personally miss a great deal. It is, though, part of racing that these things do, in fact, happen. It is what is part of the lure of the sport to the many around the world who do it. I'm Paul Page from Toronto.